let me give you three characteristics of the spirit of fear. All right, here's what a spirit of fear is. And number one, um, embrace the negative. Anytime, any, God's going to let us down. God's not going to take care of us. This is it. This is, I knew the sky would fall. I've always felt the sky was falling. Hey, look, the sky's finally falling. That's that. You run to the negative as evidence of what you won't trust God for. You're praying for your kids, and anytime something goes a little sideways, you're like, this is the end. He's never heard me. Embrace the negative. Uh, this is really big. Enlarge the enemy. I'm sure there were some giants in the land. I seriously doubt they were all giants. And it didn't matter anyway in terms of what God had promised them. So you, you enlarge the enemy. You take that, uh, you know, my financial future, my career, my, my health, whatever it is, and you make that that opposition, that obstacle, that hurdle, you make that, that's not clearable. That's not conquerable. But God's word says that, that uh, we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. But fear embraces the negative, enlarges the enemy. And, and I want you to hear this. You're not going to like it. But I've just seen it true. Um, you engage your fear. You engage it. That's a pattern of thinking. And, and more than we want to admit, we, we do have control over what we think. That's a pattern of thinking. Why are you so cranky? Because I'm always like this, we know. <laughs> and, and fear's like that. It's a way of handling what felt like too much. You didn't go to God, you handled this your own way, and now over time, this has become a pattern of thinking. And if you're going to get unstuck from it, well, here's, here's what God offers in the place of the spirit of fear, the spirit of power. Of power. Uh, first of all, embrace the promise. God has made some promises. God has made some promises to us. And we want to live in those promises. You should take this verse and you should memorize it. God has not given me a spirit of fear. When you feel the waves of, of, of regular fear kind of crashing on the shore of your mind. He's like, no, I don't have to think like this. This isn't the way God wants me to live. I don't have to be, you know, Mrs. Doomsday and, and Mr. Dark Clouds. I can, I can trust God for better things ahead. I can believe that God is going to be good and he's going to be faithful. Embrace the promise. Enlist the support. This is a big deal. I love, love, love this church and love the people in this church. Love you. And, and I don't know where you'd go and find more Bible-believing, God-loving, Spirit-filled, Jesus-adoring people than you'd find in this church. And you're not supposed to be living your life alone. You're not supposed to be getting through it alone. You're not supposed to be just getting together with Christians and playing a game of Monopoly and going home. You're supposed to be praying together and encouraging one another and leaning on God together. The resources that are available to you across the seven campuses of this church are staggering in terms of people that want to get their arms around you and care for you and pray for you and minister to you. Get your fear out of isolation, out into the open. Embrace the promise, enlist the support, and then this is just key. Just exercise your faith. That's a lie. I'm not going to believe that. That's the truth. He said he will never leave me or forsake me. That's what he said. You spend a couple of days living in God's word, living in the truth, meditating on the promises, you're going to find that fear will flee in a hurry. As a Christ follower, you do not have a spirit of fear. It's an echo of who you were before you came to Jesus. You have a spirit of power, an internal... What, did I tell you about the dynamite part? Did I say that? Did I already do that? Because I wish I had another one. I really like that part of the sermon. And <laughs> the spirit of power obliterates opposing forces and powerfully overcomes and super conquers through Christ. 